that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Oh my god. Oh. It's actually happening. Yeah. <laughs> it's surreal, yeah. Oh, can you believe it? Is that a game of Laura? I know. It's so unreal. <laughs> it's leaving our grandson. I know. I can't wait. On behalf of uh, my wife, myself, we'd like to welcome you guys here tonight for the kickoff of the um, weekend celebration of the marriage of Brandon and Sarah. Let me give you some advice that my father gave to me about when, he, when I was your age. And my dad's advice was very simple. And he said, when you're looking to get married later on, he said, find a girl who makes you a better man. So I look at Brandon sitting here and I look at Sarah right next to him and I'm saying, Brandon, once again, you listen to me and you listened well. You've definitely made Brandon an even more open and caring person than he already is. And you have brought him closer to and, and stronger in his Catholic faith. And um, I can say without a doubt, you definitely have made Brandon a better man. And we all ask that you keep God family and friends in the center of your lives. Cheers to Brandon and Sarah. That was good. I think it, it sunk in yesterday, and I've kind of just been like patiently waiting until two. <laughs> um, but now that it's like getting pretty close to two, I'm like. Doesn't oh. it feel like it was forever though? Yes. Like yesterday and today. Yes. Oh my gosh. And I didn't expect him to cry last night. I was not ready for that. He told me that if he starts to ramble on about anything, to just tell him like. Wrap it up, wrap it up. And so as soon as he started, I saw his lip quiver and I was like, wrap it up. <laughs> I'm just like ready to dance and have a good time <laughs> and celebrate, I know. Sarah has accomplished so much in this last year and this is just the icing on the cake. Heavenly Father, you have answered our prayers. Thank you for this moment and every moment shared before. Even the ones before we knew. Where you take us all to find each other. Thank you for pulling our hearts closer to each other leading up to this day in an intimate and spiritual way with you at our forefront. We promise to love and fulfill our marriage the way that you have intended for it to be. Please continue to bless us and take care of us and our families as we continue our celebration of your greatest sacrament. We love you and thank you for sending us your son who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I love you. Huh. I'll see you in a second. Yes. Can't wait. Sarah and Brandon, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends. As today in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day, may send you help from heaven and protect you. 
May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. You have come together into the house of the church, so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. You know, I, I just cannot wait to see you. I walk down the aisle tomorrow. And I just cannot wait to see the smile on your face. I love you so much, and I can't wait to love you for the rest of my life. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all wild animals. But none proved to be a suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. And while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Brandon and Sarah, I congratulate you for making it this far, and if I haven't scared you yet, and if you're ready to make your marriage as beautiful as this church, I invite you now to please stand to recite your vows. And if the witnesses would please come forward. I, Brandon. Take you, Sarah. Take you, Sarah. To be, to be my wife. I promise to be, to, to, be, to be faithful to you in good times, in good times and in bad, in and in sickness and in health, to love, to love you and to, honor. and to honor you all the days of my life. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I, Sarah. I didn't know he said that yet. I promise. I take you, Brandon. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise, I promise to be faithful to you, to be faithful to you in, good times, in good times and in bad, and in, bad, in sickness, in sickness and, in health, and in health, to love you, to love you and, to honor, and to honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God who joined together our first parents in paradise, strengthen and bless in Christ the consent you have declared before the church, so that what God joins together, no one may put asunder. Amen. enough to know Brandon throughout high school. Brandon and I are the same age and him and my husband were good friends growing up. Now I will tell you in high school, I obviously had eyes for my husband, but Sarah, two years younger than us, always had eyes for Brandon Whitmer. <laughs> Dad, I, I love Dad. Yeah. yeah. Love you forever. <laughs> I hope yeah. you know that. She even went to our senior homecoming 
and could not stop looking at Brandon and had to take photos with Travis Cooper, another one of the groomsmen. <laughs> Now flash forward five years later, Brandon and Sarah are both sitting in my dining room meeting again and certainly now both have eyes for each other. The love that Brandon has showed Sarah is immeasurable. Watching a friend and my sister come together and love each other immensely has been amazing. So if you'll raise your glass with me, and cheers to this amazing couple. I'm falling under the no more, I can't get enough. Maybe we're too young to Brandon, going back to your speech to us at our wedding, uh, you called me your role model. And uh, that truly means a lot. But I think another aspect of growing up and maturing is realizing even your annoying little brother can turn into your role model one day. Brandon, you've made me so proud, and the way you've lived your life, you, the way you prioritize faith, family, and friends is a model I think we can all take a page out of. Little brothers look to copy and be like their older brothers, but who knew it would be me trying to be like you? You know, you could say he gives his whole self to what's important to him. And that brings me to the woman sitting next to my brother right there, the new Mrs. Sarah Whitmer. Yes. <laughs> I've never in my life seen a brain like this, and it's a beautiful thing to witness. So Sarah, thank you for choosing my brother. And thank you for being the one that he chose. Maybe we're too young to keep